Hey, welcome to your video practice test. This is the terms in algebra, and uh, it's uh, 20 marks, so that's uh, about 25 minutes uh, work. And what I want to do now is to pause each question one by one, or get you to pause questions uh, as I say it, and uh, gradually work through the test. And at the end, I want you to keep the video rolling so you can uh, mark your work, watch me do it, and mark your work as we go. So here's the first question. Let's have it, just read it here now. There are three parts, and you to do those three parts for each of these. A, B, and C will have three parts to them. Okay, so don't forget to do all three parts for A, B, and C. Okay, pause the presentation now, and uh, have a go. I'll move it on now to question two. In question two, it might pay you to underline the important things there that you uh, need to write down as an equation or a mathematical sentence. So pause those uh, four parts now. That's for question two. All right, we'll go on now to... Let's get rid of that. We'll go on to question three, the last question. And in question three, you need to read it carefully. You are to circle which one... Of those four, best answers the question. Okay, which best matches the description there. All right. Have you finished? I'm going to take you right back up the top now and go through each of these questions and you can mark your work. So the first one here, whether it's an equation or an expression for this one here. Ah, oh, look, there's an equal sign. You're equating two things. So it's an equation, an equation there. Okay, state the coefficient of x. Here it is. The number in front of x is negative 2. Okay, and state any constants. Constants are just numbers with no letters or pronumerals, nothing varying. Because remember, a letter or a pronumeral stands for something that could be a missing or different number each time. So state the constant would be 5. Okay, what about part B now? Is it an equation or an expression? There's no equal sign there. So it is an expression. I'm having a bit of trouble with this green now. It is an expression. All right, state the coefficient of x. Uh, where is x? Here it is here. And the number in front of it is 14. So we'd say the coefficient of x is 14. State any constants. There it is. No x, y or z in there. So it is answer 12 for that one. Okay. What about the last one here? Is it an equation or an expression? Ah, there are two things being equal. Here, so it is an equation. I'll just write that in here. An equation, having a bit of trouble with the screen here. And then state the coefficient of x. The number in front of x, there's the x term. Number in front of x is 3. And then state any constants. The number down the end equals 15. 15 is a constant. There's no pronumeral. So for each one of those answers, there is a mark. So you put your mark here out of nine. I hope you got uh, each one of those right. Okay, come down and let's look at the next question. And this was making mathematical sentences. Just a small a little question here. The number of cows, so they better underline that, at the show was three times the number of steers. So, number of cows was, so it equals three times the number of steers, three times s. Okay, that's a bit messed up there, so I'll just write that underneath here. C equals three s. Okay, the height of the tree, let's have a look, T, is three meters less than double the height of the house. So the height of the tree, T. Okay, so T equals, having a bit of trouble with this again, T equals, so I'm going to have to write that 
underneath. So I'll put down here T equals three meters less than double the height. Double the height of the house less three. Okay, how did you go? So that was worth one mark. This one is worth two marks. You must have the double and the three. Subtract three, three meters less. A pi costs X dollars. A pasty costs Y dollars. Now, three pies and two pasties cost $21. That's an equation. So three lots of X, three lots of the pie, and so plus two pasties, two Y equals 21. All in dollars, because it says so they've been done in dollars here. So two marks. So you have to have equals 21, you have to have 3x plus 2y. Okay, let's have a look at the last one. Three bags of chips, B dollars each, so I've got three of them. And two ice creams, C dollars each. Oh, this is a big one, is $10 more than one bag of chips and one ice cream. Oh, should have given you extra marks for this one. Three bags of chips is three... Lots of B dollars plus two ice creams, two lots of C dollars is, so equals, $10 more than one bag of chips and one ice cream. One bag of chips is one B or just B plus one ice cream is one C and it's $10 more. So we've got to add 10. Really should be about three marks, shouldn't it? But we've got one for this side and one for this side. Okay, how are you going on your marking there? Hope you're getting the idea. Okay, come down and let's have a look at question three. Circle the letter for the expression which best matches the description below. Choose some number and add five to it. So that means it's got to be any number and then you must have plus five. Well, this is no good. This is a a mystery number and five times another mystery number. Choose some number and add five to it. Oh, X could be a missing number and you add five to it. It's that one, isn't it? This is five take a number. This is two unknown numbers. So there's one mark for that. I will give that a tick if you've got a mark for that. Choose a number and multiply it. Multiply it. So it could be any number. Multiply it by triple another number. All right, so this is just three times an unknown number. This is two unknown numbers multiplied. This is under unknown number plus three. So it's this one here, it should have a bracket there. It's an unknown number times three times another unknown number. So it's part two again. Bit tricky. Choose a number, double it, add another number and subtract ten. Well, there's no doubling a number there. This is double a number, adding five. Well, it didn't say five, it said add any other number. What about the next one? Choose a number, double it. Oh, well, there's double a number. Add another number and subtract ten. Oh, but done it in a different order there. What about this one? Choose a number, double it. Add another number and subtract ten. Oh, so you actually could be either of these two, couldn't it? But this one is really in a different order. You're thinking of a number, then you're adding double a number. So I suppose the way it's said is that, but these would be both the same here. So you'll have a mark for either of those two because we're saying there's a number and there's another, uh, there's a double number there. So really should have put that first, but either of those two, would do there because y could be the first number you thought of, double it and add x, or it could be that one where x was the first number you thought of, double it and then add y. Okay, let's do the last one. Choose a number, multiply it by five, then choose another number, double it and add the two answers together. Okay, so here's Think of a number multiplied by five, then choose another number, but that's not doubled. That's no good. 
Think of a number and then add five times another number. No. What about this one? Multiplying a number by five, then double another number and add the answers together. Well, there it is. It's part three. This one is just adding two unknown numbers. So there's the four marks. So how did you go? Did you get 20 out of 20? Did you pass it? What do you think? All right, well, what we're going to do now is uh, I want you to go back over that and just study it and make sure you can get them all right a second time through. Okay, so uh, go back to the beginning and just check it. Okay, all right, so uh, good luck with the actual test. Cheers for now.